Hello, time for a new episode of the Pokemon Pearl Nuzlocke extravaganza that you've been waiting for. Today, Marsh. We'll see what we can see. Staravia, heck no. Quagsire, heck no. Scorpy, okay. Ew. Ew. I don't know which area the Scorpy was in. So I guess, dang, this is pretty much just gonna be the tabby gym, which is fine. I can handle that. I'm just scared for the gym leader. Oh no, we really need a grass type Pokemon. I'm realizing there's a 90% chance that the gym leader is going to have a groundwater type. I know someone who could learn grass knot, but I don't think it's in their best interest. Honestly, we might have to teach Grass Knot to Boxy, assuming she can learn it. She can. I think that's not a terrible idea. Hmm. This is disgusting. I would never let you do this. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. It's actually so sweet. That's... I'm gonna cry. Tabby, I didn't know you felt that way about me. I love you too. Ew. That's disgusting. She's the only one with ribbons on her team. Oh, did, uh, um, remember, I don't think I showed me being here earlier, but I definitely didn't go this way, <laughs> because apparently if I had, I could have gotten over to Pastoria Town? I mean, I guess I don't really see the point of that, but I definitely didn't do that, huh. Every second that passes, I get more and more mad that Sailor Jupiter died with the fact that we're about to fight the water gem. Yeah, I think Boxy Grass Knot is the smartest thing we can do right now, whether or not I want to admit it. That's not a good uh, example of... Oh, there we go. This is who I came here for. I bet Wingle's pretty light too, plus Grass not in general, grass, normal, effective, shouldn't do much, is what I was trying to get at. Yeah, which is good, because I want to catch this Wingle, because we can. <laughs> I think this seagull would look best in a netball. Plus it'll be easier to catch. Wow! We did it. Somehow, we caught this wingle. I'll name you... Lake Wind. We might actually end up using Lake Wind at some point, especially... I don't even want to have to... I'm not even going to say what I might have thought, just because it's too sad to think about. You really gotta teach a Pokémon Rock Smash and Cut and stuff. Not not necessarily strength just yet, but rock smash and cut for sure. After like 15 minutes of deliberation, I've decided to teach rock smash to fence. We've pretty much moved past fence, more so than some of the other Pokemon I can think of. It's, it's definitely significantly worse than the Karate Chop. We'll get rid of Foresight, though, for now. But yeah, I don't think we'll be using Vince in general. Whoa, there, there she is. Hot furry tracer. 
So. I think I just fight the gym. I don't think there's that much else to do. I think we're probably an okay level. We'll have to fight some of the trainers in there to find out. The pacing in this game is really weird, I'm realizing. We just fought a gym and then we walked through like a bunch of trainers who were way under our level. Oh, that's the other thing. I was like, do we even want C-Snap on our team? And not really, but it's not like we have a better option. And then Mojo Jojo is pretty much the same as C-Snap, so much so that like, maybe I'd actually rather have C-Snap than Mojo Jojo for this gym. And if every single Pokemon on our team dies, we still have Mojo Jojo. Honestly, like, <laughs> I really hope that this doesn't happen, but let's say every single Pokemon on our team, or at least almost all of them, died. What kinds of backups would we have? I don't know. Let's, let's be smart and take... I'm not taking Mojo Jojo. I'd rather just have the egg. <laughs> Lakewind, Wanda... Applejack, strong, sad, plus egg. Is that six? It's about, yeah, six. That wouldn't be a terrible team if things go horribly, horribly wrong. But I'm not expecting them to. Especially not immediately. You know, maybe down the line I could see something like that happening. But to start it should be okay, I hope. Uh, it's gonna be a water raising puzzle. Fun. So, <laughs> I feel like that's a little too deep for a kid to be saying to me. Maybe it's just a really young looking man. Level 26 is acceptable. I'm trying to decide if I even want Boxy in front right now. Because she will be useful for the leader. I'm. Well, actually, that was better than I expected. I was expecting Fiesel to be a little light. And just in general, Boxy's not going to be incredibly strong against these trainers. Just because there's no same type attack bonus and other such things. But yeah, maybe we'll do okay. Yeah, I was so right when I said there's a wrestling dude, but maybe he just cares about wrestling aesthetics. Perfect. I had no idea this Pokemon was water ground. Like, look at that. How is that a water ground type? But, now we have an answer to that. Uh, maybe this guy's not water ground, or is just extremely light. Either of those is plausible, and it's not that big of a deal that we didn't kill in one hit right here. Ooh, Thrash is always scary. Oh, never mind. Thrash is never scary. Good level up. Dang, 90 attack. Tabby is so strong. Oof, that was a close one. I just really hope whatever water ground Pokemon that I've convinced myself Wake is going to have, I hope they don't have a oh, ground type move. <laughs> nope, yeah, this one does. So that was a good choice to move out of there. Yeah, that felt like a crit, so I'm glad it was. <laughs> Hmm, I guess you probably do this. This is probably like a trick. This is probably not like a trick. <laughs> I guess you probably do this. Yes, okay, I'm just now realizing there's a 90% chance Wake is going to be using a blue Gastrodon. You can quote me on that. Alf and the viewer. I, I believe there's a very real possibility that that's what's going to happen. It's a Gen 4 Pokemon. They love to have at least one Gen 4 Pokemon on each team. But usually just one, which is surprising to me every time. They love having... Uh, there's n You have to have a Water Ground Pokemon. It just messes up electric types so well that you gotta do it. And then I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Water Flying. Maybe Pelipper. But that'll be fine for us. I'd rather it be Pelipper than... Gyarados, but we could handle either of them at this point. As long as their Gyarados doesn't know Earthquake, which they sometimes do. <laughs> oh yeah, and the other reason he's gonna use Gastron is that it's a blue Pokemon when it's caught from a specific area. He's got a blue aesthetic, he loves the color blue, because it reminds him of the water and wrestling, I guess. <laughs> I think it's 
a 90% plausibility, like I said. You know what? It's a 100% plausibility. <laughs> I hope the water stays up after we heal. That'd be nice of them. That was mean of them. Well, let me let me lean in. Let me get real close for this fight. No, not that close. <laughs> Here we go. Crash your wake. I thought about starting with Tabby, but then I didn't because I only remembered that I wanted to do that right now. So let's hope he starts with Gastrodon. I'm not expecting that though. Gyarados, okay. So I was right about him potentially having a Gyarados, so that's a little scary. Let's hope I'm potentially wrong about it knowing Earthquake. I also really wish I had started with Tabby now. At least the Intimidate will only hit Boxy. We're really high level for this fight, I'm realizing, but I think that's okay. <laughs> it's for the best for me anyway. Swagger. Yikes. Okay. We just have to hit through all these confusions. No problem. Confusion one. Confusion one! Uh, excuse me? So that's 40 damage, so we can't use Tabby anymore. Cool. <laughs> what was that? I should have just taken her out as soon as I saw the light. No, as soon as she got confused. I wasn't expecting- I didn't know that confusion was based on your attack stat. So Swagger actually is sort of an interesting move then in that regard. Oh no, this guy knowing Bite also makes me real scared. I think you use fly. Just see what happens. <laughs> so because this guy knows bite, I can't keep or I can't throw boxy back in. Interesting turn order. I guess we have similar speeds. Slash the same speed. <laughs> That'd be interesting. That'd be fun. Okay. Let's hope it works out in our favor again. So far so good. <laughs> Dragon Rage is really scary, so... Yeah, what the heck? Why is the turn order so perfect? <laughs> Does DD just know that I wanted to stay up in the air for a little while longer to avoid Gyarados' attacks? Ooh, that's a little bad, DD. We'll do quick attack. Super potion, though. That's interesting. But yeah, quick attack into fly should finish the Gyarados off. And then it's like, what do you do? Since Dee Dee's out, I might leave her in for whatever comes next. I'm so mad that this Gyarados messed up Tavi so quickly. She had so much potential. But Dragon Rage is really good at level 30. I guess their guy was like level 26 or something, right? Floatzel, okay. Normally I'd be able to put in Tabby or Boxy or... Maybe even neither. <laughs> oh, Ice Fang! You're not supposed to know Ice Fang! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! This floats a new Ice Fang and is level 30! How was I supposed to know that this fossil would know Ice Fang? It still knows Ice Fang. Just kill somehow. Please be really heavy. Okay, that's a decent range. That's not that's not good though. I think the Floatzel is going to be the hardest Pokemon, which isn't actually that great because we don't have too many options after this. Swift. Hopefully not too much. I think that might be acceptable. It's hard to tell. Floatzel is just so fast too. I think we're going to see a potion. Super. <laughs> I think you just gotta keep spamming Grass Knot though. I don't think there's a better move right now. 
Brian. Like 28 damage, please. Concede no! a bastard! You're a bastard! Boxy, she's a failure! This might seem like a terrible idea, but C Snap has really good attack. And then you just do low kick, I guess. I think we might lose everybody here, like I said, somewhat jokingly. <laughs> You know, an hour ago, not not an hour, but like, soon before this fight, I was like, this might be the easiest fight we've ever had, but never mind, it's gonna be the hardest fight we'll ever have to know, hopefully. Hopefully there's not something harder than this. So here's the Quagsire. He didn't even have Gastrodon. <sighs> like, why? Why was that not the most obvious thing in the world? Slam, okay. Quagsire could kill us in any number of ways, so the fact that Wake used cr Slam on us two times in a row, I think he's trying to goad me into a false sense of security. This is where it gets exciting. I'm very nervous. Do we want to mimic Slam? No, that's just... A waste of time. You just have to hope for a really nice low kick. Slam! What the heck? Does this Quagsire not know moves? Why couldn't that have happened? <laughs> when Floatzel was out and I had TD out. What a sad victory. What do you think this one is? Surf? Defog! I don't want to use Defog! I don't even know what this is. Brine, I guess? It has to be Brine. Oh! That's interesting to know. That might be why... Foxy died. I don't even remember. Plus, I didn't know how Brian worked. I was thinking of Skulls when he used it. I honestly want to cry. I'm pretty close. Foxy and Dee Dee in the same fight. Two Pokemon who I just got done trying new artwork for. Let's give them one last pose. I didn't even. We didn't even see the new Dee Dee. Look how cute she was gonna be. Wow, so cute. <laughs> Aww. Little Star Raptor thing. I need to see if Star Raptor was normal. Or, sorry, dark flying. Nope, Star Raptor is also normal flying. I don't know why all these Pokemon look dark to me and never are. Uh, let me. This. This DD. Can. Frig off, I guess. At least we got to see one Pokemon's evolution. And, you know, Boxy wasn't gonna evolve anyway. Oh, I guess that part of her is transparent. I'll, I'll leave her in the bottom corner for now. <sighs> okay. Yikes. <laughs> I honestly thought Dee Dee was gonna make it with us to the end. At least in this situation, I didn't like throw her up against an electric type Pokemon or something silly like that. It was just an implausible ice fang. Foxy? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this eulogy. You are my favorite Pokemon. There, I said it. <laughs> Somehow, when we needed you most, you made yourself apparent to us. You fought a very valiant effort against Wake. It was so close. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault for not knowing how Brian works, to an extent. Also, also I- okay, I'm realizing I made a bad play with Swagger. I didn't know how that worked either, but you learned- well, I learned a lot because of you. I'm sorry it had to be this way, but your time here is over. Bye! Dee Dee, you were the first Pokemon we ever caught. 
Couldn't wait for you to become Star Raptor. It's gonna be such a glorious day. But that would never happen. <sighs> Thank you so so much. <laughs> well, who do we put on the team now? <laughs> I guess Lakewind is a pretty good option after I said that she would be a good replacement for Dee Dee if something so terrible were to happen. Uh, <laughs> no. And Mojo Jojo. Strong sides there and, and back up just in case. I guess we gotta go get Defog now. But I really wanted to catch the crow gunk, even if I knew it was implausible. Uh, I guess we'll try to catch Scorpy, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. There's a girl with a crown and a scepter Who's on double you It's like Beatles! And she says that the scene isn't what it's been And she's thinking of going home That it's old and it's totally over now And it's old and it's over, it's over now And it's over, it's over, it's over now can see myself at the end of the tour. 